Okay, if you haven't seen my <clears throat> recent videos, then you may not know. I had a camera that was defective. Um, I tried to make three videos last Saturday, or two and a half. Didn't know the camera was defective. It's been sent back, and the new one is on the way. It should be here Tuesday, but that's why I'm making this little introduction to explain that this video is going to look and sound pretty weird. This, my voice is going to be unsynced from my lips. The saw revs are going to be unsynced. Um, the, it is what it is. I mean, I, I, according to the weather, I mean, when the weather's good, we log 70 hours a week sometimes. And it's hard for me to get video at work because when, when we're there, we don't play, you know. And so, like, on. Saturday, uh, last Saturday I had an opportunity to film for a while and I tried to get all I could. So I've had three videos in a row with bad sound. Um, I want to apologize for that. This will be the last one. Sucks because this was a pretty good video, I thought. Um, I'm comparing, not really comparing race and time and anything, but you can see and kind of tell what's going on. It's the... Holtz Forma 395 clone, the Holtz Forma 52 millimeter big bore conversion, the Aaron Lynch port, ported for me with the 272 piston and all, 50 millimeter <clears throat> Holtz Forma, which was a dog I had thrown under the steps that Aaron Savage for me made an awesome saw out of, and I even run the 272 clone a little bit in this, but this video it's not really about the 272. Um, if you watch to the end, you'll see it's obvious that Aaron's 372 port jobs, the 50 and the 52, are outcutting this 395. Now, the 395 is pulling 24 inch bar. I'll give it that, but even if I put a 24 on these 372s, they're out pulling that 395 by enough that they would still outcut it most likely if not they will cut with it um i say something in the video that's incorrect i say that uh, the 50 millimeter has 272 piston in it that's just a brain fart that's not possible possible because the 272s were 52 mil um i may give some wrong specs if i do Aaron can correct me in the comments. And anyhow, uh, I know this intro is dragging on. I just wanted to explain that the film and the sound is not very good. And it's going to get better from here on out. I won't apologize for that. Um, you should see this on Sunday. Everybody have a blessed rest of their weekend. And have a good week this week. Right here's the firewood pile. Well, one of my firewood piles. <laughs> here in front of my house, got some locusts, got some cherry. Anybody in the eastern U.S., this area anyway, knows locusts is like some of the best firewood there is. It's heavy and creosote, but super duper burning wood, uh, fast and hot, and burns fairly long if you split it big. Cherry's not so great, but that tree fell needs to be gone. Burns good, but burns fast. Um, four saws here. I got Holtz Forma 272. The one behind it on top of the log is the linchpin saw. It's the pure Holtz Forma 372. I've been supported by Aaron Lynch. I call it the linchpin saw. They're both sporting 20 inch bars. C83 Husqvarna chain. In the back, we've got the Husky, or Holtz Forma 395 clone. 24 inch bar. C83 X cut chain. Um, and then the newest saw. The one that gave Aaron so much trouble. 
with the uh, air leaks. That's what I call. Aaron named it pretty much Linchpin 2.0. It was originally a crap dog. Holtz Forma, three or four years old. It's early. Holtz Forma, it was vibrating right out of the box. It vibrated bad. It's always been sluggish. Well, it ran okay with the first carburetor that came on. The first carburetor failed. I tried two more Chinese carbs. Didn't run worth a crap. I had an X Torque trash cart saw. Aaron said maybe the crank's out of balance, so he tore it all the way down, put the crank out of the 372 x so it has a genuine Husqvarna crank in it. Um, I think it's, they both got 272 pistons, the meteor does, if I'm not mistaken, cable ring. That one's 50 millimeter. 2.0 is the original inch pin 52 millimeter. So that one is based on the original old school 372 XP non export. Um, like I said, both ported by Aaron Lynch. Um, I don't have any more really good 20 inch bars. I've got a bucket full of them, but as far as fairly new, I, d I do have a couple more that are small mount. One's on my 572, a big mount, but it's over in the building. I did finally get a piece to go on the carburetor to fix that 572 back where I had it on the tree cutter and the tree rolled over and hit it. Busted the gas tank and jerked the throttle cable so hard it jerked the, I call it the ear off the carburetor and broke it. But I'll make a few cuts with the first three, let you see how they do, and then I'll take the bar and chain off at 272, put it on 2.0, and we'll run it a little bit. I have not run it, but just a few weeks since I've had it back. Situation's been at work where I've been having to use the tree cutter all the time because another machine has been broke down, and I've been having to see it table table logging a whole lot. So I've not not used it basically. Um, so you guys are going to get to see my first real test with it. But without further ado, I'm going to. Set a piece off with 272. There's another video exclusively of that saw. Um, if you want to see any more of it, I'm not going to cut much with it. Just don't want to save most of this video for the more powerful, more refined saw. Three series saws are much better than the 272. The 272 is not a bad saw.
<coughs> smoking quite a bit. It's the uh, it's only on about its third tank. I've not cleaned it out all the way yet. Um, anyhow, uh, and it's hard to dog in right there with that 20 points bar because the tip's going to hit that other piece. I'm going to run out of that smaller limb and have to go to the bigger one with 372. So that's one reason I'm not timing any of this. It's not fair. But I'm just trying to make a video sort of how they cut it and what they do. Just for entertainment purposes, I guess you'd say. But I'm going to stop this right now and get a bar on 2.0 and then we'll pick it back up. Alright, I went ahead and warmed these two saws up off camera so we can get on with it. My battery's getting low here, but uh, first up will be the regional inch pin. This is the 52 millimeter. Now, bear in mind, the two blue saws were bone stock, not so much as a muffler mark. These are full optimized Aaron Lynch port jobs here. 52 millimeter first, 50 millimeter second. Lynch pin first, Lynch pin 2.0 second. Oh, 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 oh,
focus. Granted that 395 is pulling 24, but <clears throat> the way they see it, the big block here is no match for these two. Stop 395, 52 mil full Holtz Forma, other than the jug and piston. Muffler mod. Um, Aaron can correct me in the uh, comments if I'm wrong. 50 mil husky crank. And man, this saw was a saw was a dog turd. Aaron done wonders for it. Um, I think even pulling the 24, of these two are going to best this 395 by a little bit. I really do. Um, I'm running out of time. I need to get some of this wood split up. As soon as I get a chance, I'll switch the same bar and chain between all of these and hash out who's best. I'm going to leave this one fairly stock. I'm going to check it. See if it wants the gasket delete. And I'm going to muffler mod it. Well, as I'm going to muffler mod the 272, but. Uh, Interesting, this is a, the most comparison I've got to do with them. Really interesting. Really impressive saws there. And so light. Half the price. I had a little money in this one because it had so much trouble. Um, and I bought, had to buy a part saw. And it ended up with a Zama carburetor. I didn't mention that. Traded out the export carburetor, carburetor for a Zama meant for a 50. Meal Aaron put on it, but uh, I ain't gonna tell you. I don't want to disclose Aaron's prices because I know he may want to change them. But these both came off of eBay, so you don't know what I bought the saw itself for. But I'll say I've got six hundred and seventeen dollars in this one. Probably closer to 800 in this one because of the problem. That's a new OEM handlebar too, Aaron put on it. They said it was being in a twist, and no doubt I've probably done that jerky. I'm going to finish this up with my phone here, my camera there. Just croaked. Battery give out, but uh, what I was saying. That is the OEM handlebar too. It was in a twist. Aaron said was probably part of the vibration, but it had engine vibration from the get-go. So I'd say Aaron was right to recommend a new crank. But yeah, six hundred-ish, six seventeen, something like that. These list for eleven hundred. And twenty-five dollars at the Husky dealer right now. A genuine OEM. I've probably got 
closer to eight in this one but this one has a genuine husky crank and everything in it so this one's probably a guaranteed, a guaranteed saw to live and I think this one will uh, I'm going to play with this one some myself I'm not a porter I may buy another one of these and let Cajun port it I was thinking about letting him port the 272 but it's just not good enough saw to put that kind of money in right now now if the OEM bushings straighten it out then yeah, I may do that. Um, but anyhow, I, and it'd be interesting to put my 572 up against these two. I don't think it'll hang with them. And, and it's muffler modded and it's nasty. 572s are no joke with a muffler mod. From what I hear, they're pretty well ported from the factory. Um, I finally got the part to fix it. I know I've said that five times now, but anyhow, not good at ending the video, but I'm just going to end this one by saying hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time. Have a good new year. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Everybody be safe and blessed, and I pray for y'all.